it's a central part of my being. <laughs> I miss Jerry. <laughs> He's all through the music. I mean, I, you know, I can hear his harmonic, his harmonic overtone structure, all that kind of stuff. I can't hear individual notes anymore, but yeah, Jerry is still there. I can hear him, you can hear him, you can hear him, you can hear him. It's an incontrovertible fact. Mm -hmm. He is still with us. Yeah. To me, it always feels like he's always encouraging us to play out more, to play more free. That's the, that's how Get I feel, weirder. Jerry. Get weirder. Yeah, that's that's the way I feel. Now, don't go there. Yeah, go there. No, no, no. Don't go there. Go there. Yeah, go. Yeah, go there. You know. What what I miss <laughs> most, really, what I miss most are, are the jokes backstage, the humor backstage. <laughs> but, you know, that also was a huge factor in our longevity. I've been playing in the last five years or so, there are more and more young people showing up. And it's interesting because they're all too young to have heard The Grateful Dead with Jerry. Mm -hmm. So somehow they found out about this music. It's touched them in some way and they're coming to see what it's all about. You can look at The Grateful Dead as a tuning system, not only for ourselves, but for people to become in tune with us. And that makes for a lot of power. They're kindred spirits. They're they're like us. They're they're people who require a little adventure in their lives, and it, therefore they require a little adventure in their music. And we're we're nothing if not all about that. is one of the most unique audiences there is. Mine was April 14, 1971, Bucknell University. Don't remember any of it. <laughs> come here in a bad mood, you know, had a bad day, come here, dance for four or five hours. You leave here in a totally different atmosphere, a different mood when you came in here. That's one message that I hear really clearly back from Deadheads is that we miss you guys, we wish you guys were playing again, you know, and that really makes you, you know, makes you want to do it for one thing. Remember, there would be no us in a way uh, if it wasn't it. for yeah, them. I mean, is. you just w can't go out and play for an empty arena. Even though we have played some of our best music to very small crowds. It's a small crash. Yeah. There used to be more of us than them. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Troopers Hall? Yeah. yeah. Teeny. Like three people, Diane Zellman and two others. <laughs> right. And for coming we cranked out show. a monstrous so, set that night, yeah. too. I see the energy that the band is capable of raising. I think at the end of the line, that's one of the things that I really can get behind. I mean, because it's a, it's a force for good. Peace.